starting. Emptying dust bin. Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Right here I have the Roborock S7, which has been on the market for a couple of months now. It is the latest and greatest from the company Roborock and uh, it has proven to be quite a great robot vacuum. If you haven't seen my head-to-head -head mopping challenge with this, go ahead and take a look at that in the link right up above. Uh, otherwise, the other big news with this is this going to be compatible with Roborock's auto empty dustbin uh, that is coming out a little bit later this month. The auto empty dustbin is perfect for those people who have animals or larger houses. Uh, I know that several people have been waiting on this in anticipation and it is the reason why a lot of people are buying the S7. Now the auto empty dock is not compatible with versions before the S7, however it is going to be compatible with future upcoming versions, which is good news. You see the competition for Roborock, they have already had to market the auto empty dust bins, except for there is one unique for each model. But with Roborock, if you want to upgrade your model, you can buy just one auto empty dock. And when you upgrade your models, you won't have to purchase the auto empty dock. Again, great news. Uh, the other news with the auto empty dock is that it has a HEPA filter. It is the first auto empty dock for a robot vacuum to include a HEPA filter. So for those who have allergies and are suffering, that is wonderful news. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the auto empty dock now. All right, and here we have with me the auto empty dock from Roborock for the S7. So let's go ahead and dive into the unboxing and I'll go ahead and show you some of the unique features with this auto empty dock. I'm gonna start with a quick start guide. There is some assembly required with this unit. And here is the base. Now you will notice there is a clear section here on the bottom. This is able to be removed via the tool right here in case you get a clog. On the front, on the base, of course, the S7 will drive up here on the base and dock right here. Uh, I do see there are two small wheels here and two small brushes right here. This opening right here is what is one of the unique features for the S7. You see the competition has one or two holes for their extraction and uh, they're much smaller than this. So Roborock went with this design to allow you the most area for all of your debris to come out of the robot vacuum and get into the dock itself. Uh, so we'll see and we'll put this through several tests to see how well this works. Of course, that also means bringing the debris through the uh, opening where the brush roller is. Uh, and that also is one of the reasons why Roborock redesigned the brush roller for the S7. All right, and next we have the back of the unit here. Uh, this is the unique design from Roborock. This is the uh, two cartridge system. On this side, we have our HEPA filter. And just simply twist this like this and this lid comes off and then you can pull out the HEPA filter. And this is what makes uh, the Roborock auto empty dock unique uh, for Roborock is this separate HEPA filter. You see other models from competition, they do have a bagged system However, they do not have the HEPA filter. So for those people who are allergy sufferers or just don't like dust, they are going to want to take a close look at this because it is unique on the market. Closing that back up. On this side here, we have the opening for the bag system. That's right, this is a bagged system. Uh, this is not bagless, it is bagged only. I know there are some rumors around the internet that this could be both or one or the other, and it is official this is a bagged system, at least for now. No word as to whether or not Roborock is going to sell anything that makes this interchangeable. You see, this slides right out. My guess is it slides out to allow you to take this to your garbage can and dump the uh, bag without having to carry a bag through your house. Uh, but for right now, it is a bagged system. Uh, so you can see the inlet there for the bag system. And like I say, my first impressions right off the bat are it looks very nice. Um, we do have, it does say down here to ensure normal charging, remove this protective film before use. So we'll go ahead and remove that. These right here are the charging contacts at the very bottom down here. And of course the base overlaps this and there is some assembly required. Right here on the front we have a LED light. Now this is not a charging light. 
this light comes on when the unit is working and pulling debris out of your S7. For the charging light, you're going to want to refer to the S7. As you may recall, the S7 has an indicator light on the top of it to let you know what it is doing. Mopping, charging, vacuuming, etc. Uh, so, what else do we have in the box? We have an extra bag. There was already a bag in it. Uh, so I won't take that out, but I'll give you a little close look at it real quick. There's the bag in there. Make sure you can see it. And it just slides in, and we'll go through the demonstration process when I do a more in-depth review on this unit. Uh, but it does come with an extra bag. Now I know many of you may be wondering what that bag looks like, and so I'll go ahead and open this one up now instead of taking that one out and we'll unravel it. Uh, but this is the bag. And of course, it's not inflated. So I'm going to try to pull it out the best I can for you so you can see the size. This is my hand. So it's a bit bigger than my hand. Of course, inflated. It does feel like it is a really nice material. The opening size, I would say, is about maybe an inch and a half by an inch or so and this just slips right down in the unit right here. Uh, so there is a first look at the bag for the Roborock Auto Empty Dock. And uh, here is your user manual, in case you want to read that. And also in the box is a replacement dustbin. Now you may be wondering, wait a minute, I already have an S7, why do I need a second dustbin? Well, you need a second dustbin because this one is compatible with the Auto Empty Dock. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, here is the inside of my S7 with the dust bin removed. Now this is where debris will come in when it's getting sucked up off of your floor and it will go right back out when it is going into the auto empty bin. Now, if you have the dock, you'll want to remove this little plastic piece down here exposing this hole. If you don't have the auto empty dock, you'll want to leave this in. Uh, exposing this hole allows air to come through the new dust bin and allows the suction to complete. Taking a look at the difference between the dust bins, this is the one that came with my S7 here. And as you can see on the ends, there is only one hole, and that is the vacuum motor hole right there which lines up with this one right here. So on this end, they are identical. Things change when you flip them around. On this end, this is the one that came with the dock, you will notice that there is an extra inlet hole right here. And that corresponds with the opening that we just opened up. Otherwise, they look fairly identical. Uh, there are, uh, There is a label on here that shows that it is the uh, auto empty dustbin. Uh, so you do not confuse it. So this is the one that came in my S7. And uh, this you can see has a bit of an obstruction. This is where the filter sits and uh, the dust bin to empty opens up just like this. And on the new one, you can see that it is just wide open here. Looking at the filters, other than they, uh, this one on the top is dirty because I've been using it, they do appear to be identical in size. Now. Just because you have the auto empty dust bin doesn't mean you can not You can get by without cleaning this. Uh, you will need to clean the filter from time to time even though you have the auto empty dust bin, so don't forget to do that. All right, also in the box we have the uh, power cord for the dock. Now I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this for you and let you look at it when it's done and we'll put the S7 on it and uh, we'll go ahead and take a quick look at what it looks like in the app and uh, then we'll wrap this video up. And real quick, yes, there is some assembly required. You see right here on the bottom, there are several places where there are screws. You can tell because they are loose. However, they will not come out. A nice feature and touch indeed. So we are going to snap this back part in to the base. It just clicks right in. And then we're going to turn it over and secure it with these screws. There is also a diagram showing you a screwdriver by each one of the screws that they want you to tighten. All 
right, and there we have it. It is all together. It is a very nice looking auto empty dock. I'd say it's not too big in size, uh, especially being that it has a HEPA filter. That's the reason why it is as large as it is but it's really not that big. In fact, I'd say it's probably smaller than the competition. Uh, additionally, here on the back, now that we have it together, we do have a place to wrap your excess cord, your power cord. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this docked up and uh, look forward to reviewing this and putting it through several tests. So make sure if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Stay tuned as I will be coming right back very soon with my analysis on how well this Roborock Auto Empty Dock does. All right, everyone, appreciate you viewing this. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Returning to dock. Position So now that we have it on the dock, I want to show you what the app looks like in the S7. So it comes up with the auto empty dock use tips. Remove the plate covering, which we did, the air inlet and the robot. Replace the robot dustbin with the auto empty dustbin. Next, auto empty dock use tips. Confirm that the main brush cover is installed and in place. It is. And now what we have down here at the very bottom, as you can see, a button for auto uh, emptying the dustbin. Uh, additionally, up here in the settings menu, we now have a auto empty setting. Uh, this setting right here is for auto emptying. Uh, auto emptying will begin when the robot returns uh, to the dock. And we have empty mode, which is smart. Select the best empty mode for your home. Uh, light, suitable for clean environments or smaller homes. Balance, suitable for medium sized homes balance and MPM speed and performance, and max, suitable for larger homes and more dirty environments. Uh, I'll let you know the difference between these when I get a chance to test them. My guess is, is how long the motor will run, but again, when I get uh, finished putting this through several tests, uh, we will check that out.